What's up guys? Welcome to this flat picking guitar lesson. Today we want to learn how to play sentence reel. This is an old French Canadian tune with a strong and beautiful melody. There's something special about this melody that I really love. If you are excited about this, give this video a like and make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified for new videos every single week. You can get the tablature for this lesson at my website as well as many other tablatures and instructional material. So grab your guitar and let's get started. Okay guys, we are in the key of D and we will start with two pickup notes on the fourth beat. So it goes like this, one, two, three, and we start on the fourth beat. Like one, two, three, da da da. Right? So the first note is here at the third fret of the second string, and that's a middle finger. We are in the key of D, so usually the, the hand position, the left hand position, is in second position. So every time you see a three on the tablature, that will be a middle finger. Every time you see a two, that will be an index. Every time you see a 4 on the tablature, that will be a ring finger. Let's play the first phrase. One more time slowly. One, two, three. So, after the two pickup notes, we have a hammer on from open to the second fret with the index finger. And right after the hammer on, we pick the same note again with the downstroke. Like this. Then we play this simple phrase. And here we have, in measure number two, another hammer on. And this time is on the third string, and we go from the second fret to the fourth fret. Index ring finger down, hammer on, and then you lift the ring finger and you play your A note again with a downstroke. So that's the first phrase. Okay, let's move on to the second phrase. This is bar number three and four. So this is the response. After the call, we have a response, right? So open string, downstroke, open string, downstroke, and then a few eighth notes. Very simple. Eighth notes are down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Okay, I will play the second phrase one more time. Down, 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 up, down, up. And that's a quarter note. Okay, now let's move to the next phrase. The next phrase is just like the first phrase. So again we have two pickup notes, the same D and open E. And then instead of a hammer on we have index open. And before we had open hammer on. So we just play the same two notes the other way around. So that's the third phrase. Let me do it one more time slowly. Okay, and I think that now we are ready for the ending phrase. And so this is measure number seven and eight. And it goes like this. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, here we just look at my left hand because we will need to do this little this little position here. So we start off with the ring finger down, up, then index on the third string, open second. And now and now you see we have two two on the on the tablature. So I like to do that with my middle finger on the second string and my index finger on the third string. Just like this. And now the next two on the second string, the next C sharp, that now is an index. So we go from this position back to the second position. Index, middle. So I will play the last phrase one more time. And that's the A part. Now I will play the A part from the very, very top. One, two, Okay guys, we are ready to move on to the B part. The B part starts with two pickup notes on the fourth beat. The same two notes, D and E, down, up, on the fourth beat. And this is the first phrase. Very simple, right? So again, this is the fourth beat. 4 and 1 and that's a quarter note that's a downstroke you hold the note for a quarter and then you repeat the same note with another downstroke down up down up you see that now we, we use the pinky right there that's also a downstroke down up down up down one more time the same phrase okay now let's go to the second phrase of the of the b part this is probably the most complicated phrase in the song it goes like this There's a lot happening here. First of all, let's we start on the fourth beat again. This is a middle finger on the third fret of the first string. Down, up, pull off. And now that's also an upstroke. Here at the second, at the third fret of the second string. See that down, up. Pull off, up. And you can fake a downward movement when you play the pull off. Look at my right hand. That way the upstroke after the pull off will be more natural for your right hand. Okay, let's move on. Now right there you see we have an A note and then we have a C sharp and I like to do that to play those two notes with the, my index finger. So this is a down, up, open first down, like this. This is an A major triad. 
root, third, and fifth. And the last note is an upstroke here at the fifth fret. Right after that, you slide up with your pinky to the seventh fret. Like this. Alright, just repeat that a few times. And then you play the fifth fret with your middle finger with an upstroke again. And again, when you play the slide, you can fake a downward movement with your right hand. You see? Okay, one more time, the second phrase of the B part. So, on the fourth beat. Alright, let's move on. Now we have another phrase. And the third phrase in the B part starts on the off beat of the last of the last beat of measure number number 12 so like that middle finger upstroke and then you pull off like this and and you play the D note here with another upstroke like this Okay, so if I count you in, we go like three and four and okay, this is the whole phrase. I will do it one more time. Three and four and one and two and three and four and So right after the, the first pull off, we have a pull off with the pinky. So you see I'm not lifting my index finger here. You see? So just hold that index down. So the pull off, so it's it's an offbeat, that's an offbeat upstroke, right? So pull off and again another upstroke on the second string. So the down ups are a little bit tricky here. Make sure to focus on your peak direction. And now we're ready to, to finish up and play the last phrase that goes like this. Last phrase starts on the fourth beat. So we have a couple of pickup notes. Down, up, pull off, up. So you see that measure is just like measure number 15 is just like measure number 11 you see the similarities everything is the same except for the last note here we have a G note that's my last note of measure number 15 and measure number 11 It's a pinky note. That's the only difference. And so we are done. I will do the B part from the very top, pick up notes included, without stopping. One, two, three.
There you have it, sentence real. If you enjoyed this flat picking guitar lesson, make sure to let me know in the comments below and hit that like button, it really helps to support me. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload a new video. If you never played this music before, grab my flat picking guitar 101. It's a free video crash course and you can grab it at the link below this video. And if you're serious about learning flat picking guitar, join my community, Flat Picking Experience at True Fire. You will have access to hundreds of video tutorials, tablatures, and backing tracks. Thanks for watching. I will see you next week. Same flat time, same flat channel. Have a great day. Bye.